Hello, this tutorial is primarily aimed at website customers of mine who are uploading images to their own websites. Now, the speed of the website can be affected by the quantity of images to be displayed as well as their physical size and the size taken up on disk. Now, Website designers often optimise your initial images for you to ensure speedier loading of your site. Take a look at this folder of files. You can see here that I've put the folder of files into a detailed view and that the majority are well over 3000 kilobytes each and their physical dimensions 4608 times 3456 pixels. This is way bigger than screen dimensions. When we optimize we can reduce the physical dimensions for these particular ones down to 10% which will still give us a decent viewing size on our web page. Further, we can also reduce the amount of perceived colours um, in the image. An image from a camera, for example, contains millions of colours which the human eye does not perceive. We simply replace those with the ones that we can see. And we actually don't see anything different. And the file size, of course, comes down. So that's two things that we can do to optimize our images. Web designers use specialized software for this, but for basic optimization, you could use a free tool like Riot. You can download and install this software and the website address I've actually included here on the screenshot. Now I've already um, downloaded and installed the Riot software, so I'm almost ready to begin um, optimizing um, the images which I showed you earlier on. Once you have a folder of images ready, create a subfolder within that folder and call it opt for optimize. And then what I'd like you to do is to run the Riot program. Once the program's running, select the batch option from the icons and then use the add images to add all the images of your folder. So I do add all images from folder. And I'm just going to find um, the folder that I was using before. I'll just click OK. And you can see it's added all those files for me um, there. On the additional tasks tab, uh, make sure that resize and compress to size are selected. Um, they already are on mine and this is the settings that I've used. So the file size threshold I've set to 100 and the resize I've selected percentage and 10% and keep the aspect ratio. The resampling filter is entirely up to you. I'm just going to use one of the faster ones for the purposes of this demonstration. Then use the three dots to select the opt folder which you created. So I'll just find that. Click OK. And once all that's done, simply click the Start button. Right, I think I got an error for the first four there simply because I've already tried this before and I didn't delete the file, so I'm going to ignore that. But you should get OKs for all your images as it progresses um, through the work that you've asked it to do. I'm just going to pause that for a moment whilst that process finishes. OK, nearly there now. Okay, and these are just the error messages from my first things. Overwrite permission required. That's because I forgot to delete the files the first time I tested this. I'm just going to close that. That's all done, so I'm just going to close uh, Riot down. 
And now I'm going to have a look in my opt folder to see um, what's actually happened. So I'm in thumbnail view there, so I'll just quickly change that view to detail view so that I can see the difference. So you can actually see here that the file sizes uh, are all around about 100k or less. And if I put the dimensions on as well, um, there's the, the dimensions. Now these will load much quicker um, on your website and these are the ones that you should actually use. If all this seems just a little bit too laborious or complicated then don't forget if you provide us with the images we can optimize them for you and our usual rates would apply. Please feel free to share the link to this video and comment on this article. Thank you from Alltech Plus.